non-Newton liquid. We're going to need cornstarch, bowl and a water. All right, we're going to put a couple spoons of cornstarch in there. And then we're just going to start mixing it with water till it's going to have this kind of waterish substance with that. All right, check it out. You see it's liquid, right? It's like liquid, right? But what if you go fast? Look, it's a like creepos. Check it out, I'm gonna put some in my hand and start rolling around. You see, I got the this ball right here. If I roll around fast enough, it will be cool ball. Oops. Oh, look, it's liquid actually. It's roll it around the ball, you see it? Just a ball. If I let go, it's liquid. Pretty insane, huh? Look, <clears throat> it's crumbles. Even I stuck my hand fast, try to pull it up. It's hard, you see? Look. You see, it's liquid right here, right? But when I go like that, it's not liquid. Pretty insane, huh? Let's try to put it together. It's pretty fun to actually play with that. Pretty messy though. For this experiment, we're gonna need water, oil. I got olive oil, you can do any kind of oil. Put color in and water. Let's see what we're gonna do. And a tablet of alka -Zelsa. First, we're gonna put the food color in. Bunch of drops, as you can see, they're gonna drown. And then we're gonna put water in there and it will mix up. As you can see, it got mixed up over there. And drop the tablet. Let's see what happens. For this experiment, all we're gonna need bird clip and dish soap and plate of water. Let's check it out closer. We're gonna drop the bird clip on top of water like that, like on one end, as you can see, and drop a, a drop of dish soap in the hole. Let's see what will happen. Boom, it takes off. Pretty cool, huh? It probably will still take off. Let's try this again, see if it's still gonna work. Just one small drop. Check this out. It's not as fast anymore because in this water I have been dish soaked. So you're gonna need to change water. For this experiment, we're gonna need two pennies and the wire cutters. Let's see what we're gonna do to it. As you can see, I already cut it. Pretty much you grab your uh, wire cutters and cut. Cut small piece out of it, just like that. That's how I do it. Then you stick them in together. Do the same thing on the other coin, as you can see. And then you're gonna interwind them together. And then grab your cutters and kind of force them in together. I have bigger pliers. Okay, looks like it's sitting there. Then you're gonna put it on the table and just blow on it. All right, I'm gonna put these two quarters and blow on them. Pretty cool, huh? And it rolls back. Check this out, huh? What do you think? Let me know what do you think in the comments below. For this experiment, we're gonna need candle, lighter, and the orange peel. I'm gonna light up the candle. And then we're gonna need a piece of orange peel and warm it up a little bit, not too close to the fire. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna find out if it's flammable or not. And then just squeeze it like that together. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty awesome? Alright, we're gonna warm it up a little bit again and squeeze it. Woo, that was epic.
I'm gonna cut the potato in a couple pieces, like four or five pieces, and then stick the coin like this, and then nail to the other side. Coin. As you can see, we got nail coin, nail coin, nail coin, nail coin, whatever. So we're gonna grab our LED light and connect them together. And you can see it's on. All right, check it out. I'm gonna touch and it's producing electricity. Pretty cool, huh? So you can make a potato battery. For this experiment, we're gonna need 823 battery. This is gonna be a really cool, quick battery hack. So anyways, we're gonna take it out. And you see, this is 823. We're gonna find this line over here. You see it right here? We're pretty much gonna grab, cut the wires, things, and gonna pull it like this. Just grab and pull. And guess what we're gonna find? Bunch of smaller batteries. They call cell batteries. And you know, those batteries cost $5 per Piece. Sometimes you're gonna need those batteries for smaller projects, experiments, and you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries for like one dollar, you know what I mean? Or like a couple dollars instead of paying like three or four dollars per each. So as you can see, we got eight small cell batteries. We can save it for the next experiments. And for this experiment slash take, we're gonna need two paper clips and a dollar or any kind of money paper we're gonna fold it in three halves like that like this you see like an S shape or you see what I'm saying so and then we're gonna unfold one of them and stick the pin right here but kinda couple millimeters down that way so you can grab it on this side right here and then fold it like this and put the paper clip to this paper and that paper, not all three of them. I'll show you in a second. As you can see like that too, you see only two pieces right here. And then you're gonna go up by this piece of paper and this one and this one right here, this two right here. And pull them all in together and just quickly like boom. And guess what? got tied up together. Let's try this again. I put it in an S shape. Put the first one. Then put the second one to the second hole right here. Your second hole in, inside right there. And then go up by this piece right here. And this one right here. This two. And just go together and like boom and you see what we got they intervene together pretty cool take and for this experiment we're gonna need hot water and cold water as you can see it's hot it's steaming I boiled it a little bit but it's not a little boiled but it's pretty pretty warm you know so and then you're gonna need an empty bottle and I put the balloon in there as you can see it's not inflated or anything just up here and we're gonna do some cool experiment with that. So first of all, I'm gonna put bottle in the water, you know, soak it in even like that sideways, spin it around, make sure it's all cold and nice. And then I'm gonna put it in the hot water and we'll see what happens with that. To make that faster, we can put the bottle sideways and spin it. Let's see what happens. Check it out. And the balloon inflates like that. For this experiment, we're gonna need two CDs. I cut to the middle, as you can see, and intervene them together like that, and put a lot of hot glue, so they hold pretty steady, you see? It's not falling off, so it looks like that. Let's check it out in action. We're gonna set it down like that and give a little push and see what will happen. Pretty cool, huh? 